There's only so many great people in a community, and Leroy's one of our great people. Breaking news just in tonight, Tampa Bay Buccaneer Hall of Famer Leroy Selman is in the hospital this evening following an apparent stroke. Good evening, I'm Jamison Newell. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. First tonight, Leroy Selman, a Hall of Fame defensive end for the Buccaneers, was the first ever draft pick for the brand new team back in 1976. There was much confusion earlier tonight when several media outlets reported Selman had passed away. But as ABC Action News has reported all night long, Selman's family says he is still alive. Our Chris Martinez joins us now from outside St. Joe's Hospital in Tampa, where Selman is this evening. Good evening, Chris. Good evening, Wendy. And tonight, one of Leroy Selman's cousins is telling us he is breathing on his own. And a friend who was just inside there moments ago with him, he tells us he is opening his eyes and squeezing hands. But even with that, they all say it's just too soon to know if he will be able to pull through. So many wonderful moments. He is a Buccaneer football legend, a fixture in Tampa Bay. And now tonight, Leroy Selman has become the focus of countless prayers from countless fans. A gentle giant to the community, to the people, and he's one heck of a ball player on the field. Former Bucks teammate David Lewis came to the hospital tonight stunned by abrupt reports of Selman's failing health. The bulk of those coming in waves from various members of Selman's family, some saying the Football Hall of Famer had a stroke after collapsing at home, other relatives telling us he also has a blood clot in his heart. His condition throughout the evening going from serious to extremely critical. If he had a stroke, and it's a massive stroke or any kind of stroke, you don't wish it on no teammates or nobody, you know, and uh, especially a good person like that. It's at home. You know, this is home. Selman's is a name tied to a number of Tampa Bay firsts. He was the first Buccaneer inducted into the team's ring of honor, and his number, 63, is the only one the franchise has ever retired. Those stats are just the tip of Selman's legacy that extends far beyond the field. I think he affects a lot of young people uh, and a lot of people like myself that, you know, looked up to him and still do. When it's all said and done, Leroy is going to be one of the top two, three Buccaneers of all time, so they can't take that away from him. And at this point tonight, Selman's family has not collectively made a statement, but we do know many members of his family are here at the hospital with him, including his two brothers, his daughter, his two sons. His friend tells us his condition right now is serious. At least that's how it's being classified by the hospital. And he also tells us that the next 24 to 48 hours will be a critical time to watch for him. We'll keep you updated. We're live tonight in Tampa. I'm Chris Martinez, ABC Action News. Thank you, Chris. Again, several media outlets reported Selman's death after a press release was accidentally sent out by the Leroy Selman Restaurant Group. Well, tonight they have issued an apology. It reads, quote, we were misinformed and deeply regret the previous statement attributed to the company. Our prayers are with Leroy Selman and his family. Leroy Selman stayed in Tampa well after his pro football career, eventually becoming the athletic director for the University of South Florida. Our James Jackson continues our team coverage tonight from the campus where Selman made a huge name, not only for the university, but for himself as well. James? That's right, Jameson. Selman is a huge part of the USF community. While he's in the hospital tonight, many folks on this campus are praying for a speedy recovery. Manuel and Lori Pinero met Leroy Salman at a USF women's soccer fundraiser last spring. He was very instrumental in getting a lot of folks here. He was a very pleasant gentleman. I mean, came, shook everybody's hand. He was like part of the family when he was coming out there. And tonight, the Paneros are watching USF soccer with a heavy heart after learning Selman had a stroke. He's been someone that's uh, given to the community ever since he was with the Bucks. And I mean, th this whole training facility here was a testament to what he wanted to do to bring to the local area. And uh, so, you know, I just uh, am sad to hear that uh, he's not doing well. And Selman became the school's athletic director and launched the Bulls football program. The Hall of Famer spearheaded the school's move to Conference USA and now to the Big East. He resigned as AD in 2004 for health reasons. Tonight, the Bulls community is behind him as he fights for his life. I've seen uh, the reaction from, from our coaches, and, and uh, there's, there's certainly a lot of grief, uh, and uh, you know they're upset because it's someone that, that is dear to the USF family. I hope he does well. I know he's a good man, and he's done a lot for the school. 
because obviously our football program is pretty good. My condolences go out to him, and I hope he gets better. USF's president and athletic director released a statement tonight. It says, quote, we recently learned Leroy Selman was admitted to the hospital. Our thoughts and prayers are with Leroy and his family. We are honoring the family's request for privacy at this time. So the USF community definitely coming together for their Hall of Famer. Reporting live from Tampa, James Jackson, ABC Action News.